Okay, I am going to do a video as I walk to work. So there is a lot of noise and wind. So bear with me. But if you can't hear what I'm saying, at least enjoy the beauty. This is a small town in the south part of Norway. It's called Mandal. So I walk across there. So that's where I'm going. And as you can see on the other side, it's the city. It's, it's pretty small. Yeah. Anyway, I don't have much time, so I cannot spend too much time taking the video. But what I wanted to talk about was Women's Day and what it means to us. I mean, we're in 2022, but I still think women have a long way to go. And women will be as free or will be as equal sometimes as much as you want yourself to be free. So you have, we have a long way to go. But some of the things we have to do it ourselves individually. And I'll share a story about my grandmother who I think is most maybe the most courageous woman I have met and of course I'm named after her so I'm very proud of her and uh, she died uh, soon three years yeah so she died three years ago and this is what I learned from her despite that she was born almost 90 years ago she was still able to free herself and stand for her rights even when the society did not accept women to stand for themselves so what she did was at some point she was very angry with what the british were doing so what my grandmother said was told my grandfather she wanted to go back to the village instead of living in Nairobi. My grandfather did not want to go back to Nairobi, at the village. So he chose to stay. But my grandmother said, no, I don't want to hear anybody speaking English or Swahili. Because she wanted to, she was very angry. She thought uh, the British had done so much damage and she felt that her true identity was being taken away by adapting all these things. So what she did was that she took 50 Kenya shillings she had saved, no, 500 Kenya shillings, which is equivalent to 50 krona or, yeah, I don't know how much, five dollars, yes. And she headed to Nyeri where she bought a piece of land with her own money but the problem was that she could not register that land under her name why because she was a woman and women in kenya by then were not allowed to to own any property so we are talking about uh, 19 late 1950s and she couldn't own the land so when she went to register the land she had to register it under my grandfather's name interesting right but she was not afraid about that but get what but guess what that did to her she was not only free as a woman but she was able to do what she wanted to do even when the society said no you cannot do this she went ahead she built a house with the help of the villagers and she used a very very funny tactic to build that house that's a story for another day because i don't have time right now and after that she <coughs> sorry after that she ended up owning the land which is now what a few millions okay and when she died of course her children inherited it what am i trying to say economic finances and how we want to be liberated as women i think sometimes we have to put effort a lot of effort ourselves 
sometimes we have to go beyond anything that the society tells us we cannot do and do it because somehow we have to break the norm we have to go the extra mile for us to be able to be equal today there are still women who cannot still be able to do the things that my grandmother did when uh, when they, she didn't even have much freedom as a woman to do so as a woman think yes today is women's day but how free are you and how equal do you feel in the society and what have you done to be equal or to feel that you're somehow equal we need to put some effort anyway i'm about to get to work so we can speak another time so happy women's day